Hello, wonderful humans. We're gonna get into the math concepts for today, which again, I'm gonna say is easy, mostly because you've done it before. It's just in a new format, but it's the same and it is still, it's still easy. Uh, I will make a disclaimer. If you hear any noises in the background, please know that it is my dogs. They are chilling, but they tend to bug me because, you know, they love me and they want my attention and I'm not giving it to them right now. So let's get into 8.4a. I have already written it out for you just because it is a lot to write out, but let me read it out loud just so you can follow along. So you're using your eyes and you're listening with your ears. 8.4a, use similar right triangles to develop an understanding that slope, m, given as a rate comparing the change in y values to the change in x values, y2 minus y1 over or divided by x2 minus x1 is the same for any two points, x, y, y, sorry, x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 on the same line. That is a lot of words and you're probably thinking like, okay, what? <laughs> uh, but basically it just means we're gonna set up a proportion to show slope. It's gonna be the same for any two points on the same line which again, duh. Um, let me just draw a quick picture just so you can put what I just said to you in context. So if here's your graph, I know you don't need to write this down. And I have this line. What this means is if I pick two pretty points, like if this is a pretty point and this is a pretty point and I found the slope between these two lines, it's gonna be the same as if I chose this pretty point and this pretty point, the slope is gonna be the same. Basically, what we're talking about is a linear function. It is a straight line and it doesn't curve, it doesn't bend, it's not in a wave, it doesn't squiggle. It's a straight line, so the slope is gonna be the same. So. Um, let's go through some vocabulary terms. And you guys know that you can always pause and write, correct? Like, don't just let me keep talking if you're falling behind. Pause it. That's the beauty of the Ed Puzzles. All right, linear, number four, is a straight line. That's what we're talking about. Slope M, number seven, the measure of the steepness of a line on a graph. This is rise divided by run, rise over run. Unit rate is actually what we talked about on Monday uh, when we talked about varies directly and direct variation. It is a rate which the second quantity in the comparison is, oh, the same unit? No, constant unit? No. Dag I already forgot that vocabulary word. Um, but I do know the next one. Rate of change is a ratio that compares the amount of change in Y values by the change in X values. Oh, one unit, yeah, duh, Palmer. The unit rate is, by, is comparing one unit. Of course, I knew that. Y value is by the change in X values. Uh, today, we are talking about similar right triangles. Triangles of different sizes, but have the same ratio. They have the same slope. If they are dilated by the same number, they're gonna have the same slope. Uh, lastly, slope, number 10, is the measure of steepness of a line on a graph, which is y divided by x, rise divided by run. Uh, that's just because it's the same as number 10, if you noticed. It's just like, oops, it's fine. We can write it again. But here's the formula. All right, beauties, let's go to our notes for today, which is the second page. And if you notice that your notes packet is super small, that's because... There's not a whole lot in this, and you guys should ace this test or quiz. We'll probably just quiz you guys on it. All right, slope using similar triangles, 8.4a. What is the ratio of the change in y values, the vertical height, to the change in x values, the horizontal length, for triangle GEO? So I'm looking at triangle GEO. That's the little guy here. I am going to use my rise and run to figure it out. Um, okay, so let's first find our ordered pairs. Um, yeah, sorry guys, I literally haven't taught this before and I feel like it's, it's really kind of funky when my rise is three and my run is four, so then I should... But we're going to do it 
the proper way. So this is the Y coordinate. Here, let me use a different color. Six, right? Do we see that? It's six right here, six. And then this is the Y coordinate nine, which means nine minus six, Y two minus Y one. And then my X coordinate, let me use a different color. This is my X coordinate four, and this is my X coordinate eight, which is eight minus four. Nine minus six is three, eight minus four is four, therefore the slope is three over four or 0.75. Okay, let's do this again. Let me try it the way that they want me to teach it to you and then I want to show you the way that I would, <laughs> the way that I would do it. Um, but again, please, please make sure that you are realizing that these, this is the same, the same line. I'm talking about two different triangles on the same line. So what is the ratio of the change in Y values, the vertical height, to the change in X values, the horizontal length for triangle F-U-N? Fun, hey, F-U-N, so the big guy. So my Y coordinate for F is 12. And yes, please make sure we always know we do rise over run. My y, U coordinate is three. So 12 minus three, because I'm doing the rise first. Now I'm gonna do the run. My X coordinate for U is 12. And then my X coordinate for N is zero. So I've got 12 minus zero. 12 minus three is nine. 12 minus zero is 12. And then we reduce that both by three. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, or 0.75. So what conclusion can be made about the triangles GEO and FUN is they are similar triangles because they have the same ratio, the same slope. Based on your response to part C, what do you know? So here's part A, B, C. Uh, based on your response to part C, what do you know about the slope of line F to N? So that's the actual linear function. The slope is the same for both triangles. I'm going to say equivalent because that's a fancier term for same. The slope is equivalent for both. triangles, which is three-fourths or 7.5, uh, 0.75, All right, guys, um, the way that honestly I would do it is I would figure out how many units it is because you can just count. Let me use yet another color. Let's use a brighter color so we can see it. Let me use orange. I would count down, and that's nine, and then I would count over, and that's 12, and then I would just put nine over 12. When they give you a graph, it is really easy to count uh, when they give you the actual units in the grid. But like we see in the second example, they do not give us a grid. But they do give us an ordered pairs, which is quite beautiful, if you ask me. So find the change in y values, y2 minus y1, between points D and F and points E and G. So the vertical change between D and F, I am looking at the y coordinates, D and F. So this is six minus two, which equals four. And then the vertical change in E and G. So again, the Y coordinates, eight minus six, which is two. Find the change in X values, X two minus X one, between points F and C. So here's nine. Here, let me use another color. Nine and three. which equals six, and then the horizontal change of G and D. So this is 12 and nine. Cool, boom shakalaka. So vertical change DF, four, over horizontal change FC, six. Oh, I guess I can actually write it out. This is six minus two, which equals four and nine minus three, which equals six. 
and then I would reduce them both by two, cut them in half, that's two over three. So E and G, the vertical change of E and G is eight minus six, which equals two, and G, which is 12 minus nine, which equals three, and I don't necessarily need to reduce it because it already is reduced. And hey oh, look at that. They're on the same line, so they should have the same slope. I feel like that is logical. I feel like that is very sensible, sensical. It makes sense. How do the ratios compare? They are equivalents. Meaning they are similar triangles. Cool. Done and done. All right, last last example. And so far, I feel like we're 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 cruising. We're doing well. All right, this time they didn't give us a grid, which is kind of beautiful, but I am gonna pull out the order pairs because I do feel like that was slightly easier. So the order pair for P, let me use a color we can see. Orange, I feel like it's good. P is negative seven comma seven. Q is negative seven comma three. R is negative four comma three. S is negative four comma negative five. And T is two comma negative five. All right, which proportion can be used to show that the slope of P to R is equivalent to the slope of R to T? So basically we are proving what we already know is that the slope is the same, but we're going to prove it using our math. So we're looking for x, sorry, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is what we're looking for. So let's go through it. One answer choice at a time. I'm going to start with a because that was the first one I was given. So three here is my three. Nope, that's not the three I'm using. I'm using the three on the Q. Three, that checks out. That is Y2 minus seven. That is Y1, that checks out. Uh, negative four, that is X2 minus X1, so minus negative seven. Sorry, x1, I keep writing y1. That checks out. So we're good on the tiny triangle. Now we're going to check the big triangle. Negative 5, that's my y coordinate. That checks out. That is y2. And now I'm looking for my y1, which should be 3. Yep, that looks good. 2, that's my x2. Minus my x1 should be negative 4. And it is. So right now it looks like A is my answer because that was set up beautifully. So now let's go through some bad examples so we can compare. So we know what to look for in the wrong answers. B, 3. 3 is correct, right? 3 checks out. That is my y2. Let me use a different color. I use my light purple. That is y2 minus my y1 should be seven, but it's negative four. So what is that? I feel like that is my x, which doesn't work out. All right, see, I have negative four, which is x, minus negative seven, which is also x. That does not work out. I need y2 minus y1, I need y minus y. All right, D, negative four, that is X. So automatically I already know that's wrong because again, I need Y. So I need to have Y on top, X on bottom. Cool. I feel like this was really easy, guys. I just, I feel really good about it. You should too. And if you don't, ask for help or rewind it and watch it again.